Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Today, I just want to talk to all the individuals who are pregnant. And when I am referring to pregnancy, I am not referring to women who are with child or women who are with children or women who are expectant to give birth to children. But I am talking about everybody, every individual who has been carrying something who is pregnant in the spiritual realm with, with, with whatever promise, with whatever promise or whatever prophecy that God has spoken into their lives. They are carrying something in their spiritual being and they are ready to give birth birth to that thing. Now listen to what Isaiah says in Isaiah 37 verse 3. He says, and they said to him, thus says Hezekiah, this day is a day of trouble and rebuke and blasphemy. Why? Because <laughs> the children have come to birth, but there is no strength to bring them forth. Now understand this. <laughs> the children the, 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 the pregnancy, whatever it is that we are hopeful or expectant of, is ready to manifest itself. <laughs> it is ready to show and reveal itself in our lives. But the problem is not with what we are pregnant with. The problem is not with the children. <laughs> the problem is not with the promise. The problem is not with the promise, uh, with the prophecy. But the problem is with us, the mothers, us who are expectant of the, the, the problem is that the child is ready to be born but as the mother we do not have the strength to give birth to this child we don't have the ability yes the labor pains are there the child has made known that it is time to be born the promise has made known that it is time for me to, to manifest in your life our destinies are knocking at our doors because it is about the time where we need to occupy our rightful position it is that rightful time where we need to step into our rightful position where we need to step into our destiny where we need to begin to activate <laughs> on a deeper level on a higher level but listen to this the, the, the promise is ready to be birthed the child is ready to come forth the, 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 the child is ready to be birthed but the mother <laughs> that is why the word of God says it is a day of trouble it is a day of torment because the child is trying to come out and because the child is announcing that I'm ready, the body and everything around us begins to show us that you are in labor pains. You become hard pressed on every side. You become perplexed. You, you, become, you become nudged and uncomfortable because there is something that is happening. The, 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 the child is trying to let the mother know, listen, I am ready to be birthed. I am ready to start many. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The promises that God has spoken into our lives. It is time right now, not yesterday, not a second later. Right now it is time for us to, to, to walk in our destinies. It is time for us to give birth to all the promises of God. It is time for us to give birth to all our expectancies, whatever we have been hopeful of, whatever we have been waiting for, whatever breakthrough whatever it is that we have been holding and praying for in our spirits. It is showing us that it is time for us to give birth. But the problem here is with us, the parents, us, the mothers who have to give birth. We don't have the strength. Now listen to this. The word of God says in the book of John chapter 16 verse 21 that a woman is tormented when she is laid back. But the moment she gives birth, the joy that she experiences is so much that she immediately forgets the torment that she would have been going through. Listen, listen, listen. That, that, that child that you have been carrying in your spirit, that hope, that dream, that promise, that prophecy, whatever it is that you've been pregnant with, it is time right now for it to, be, to begin to manifest in your life. It is time for it right now to start to... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, 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 listen. The child is ready to be born. But we as the mothers are the ones with the problem because we are lacking the strength to give birth. Our destinies are knocking. The promises of God are knocking. 
It is time for us to take our rightful position. We have spoken about what God has spoken about in our lives. We have spoken about the promises. We have quoted scriptures. We have fasted. We have prayed. We have been counseled. Yes, many things have been spoken into our lives by different individuals. But now is the time for the child to be born. And the child is giving us labor pains. And yes, the labor pains are painful and uncomfortable. The labor pains make us to weep and to cry because we don't understand why we are going through so much at the same time we don't understand our own emotions we don't understand how we are feeling we we, we, we are struggling we are grasping for air because life has become so difficult we are hard pressed we are perplexed we are going through so much why because it's labor time the child wants to be born the child is letting us know it is time for me to come into the earth it is time for me for everyone to see what you have been carrying what you have been carrying in your spirit it is time for the truth to be manifested it is time for your blessings the word of god says the children are a reward from god meaning that whatever you have been carrying whatever you have been pregnant for whatever you have been expecting is a blessing from God. Now listen to this. It is time right now for us to give birth to the promises of God. It is time right now for everything that we have been hopeful of, everything that we have been, I don't know what it is that you have been pregnant with. You have been carrying it. You have felt the pains of it growing. You have felt the discomfort. But now it is time for the labor pains. And this is where push comes to shove because you are no longer comfortable. There is nobody that can help you to push except you. You, you, you have to apply yourself. You have to give yourself because something is happening in your life. Ah, you, you, you are in labor. You are in labor. You can feel the cramps. You are sweating. You can feel the discomfort. Yes, it comes and it goes. And each time it comes again, it's more intense than the last time because that's how labor pains work because the baby is saying I am ready the, 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 the destiny is saying it is time I want to show myself to the world it is time the glory of God is, 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 is knocking it's knocking it wants to come out because the glory of God must be seen through you through that promise the glory of God will be seen through that expectation becoming a realization and the glory of God will be seen. So yes, the child is ready to be born. The child is ready to be born. But as the mother, we are lacking. We are lacking the strength. We are lacking the strength. Now I want, to, I want to pray with you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray with you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to believe with you that that pregnancy that you have been carrying, that expectation, that hope, that dream, ah, that promise that you've been holding on to, it is time to give birth. It is time to give that final push. It is time for the world to be introduced to the real you. <laughs> It is time for the world to see what God has created you to be. It is time for the world to be introduced to the real you. Forget the labor pains. Forget the uncomfortable situation you are in. Forget the discomfort. Forget the torment. Focus on what you are doing right now. You are about to give birth. And this is where it gets hardest. This is where you feel all alone. This is where you need to push. This is where you need to give your all because the child is ready to be born. Your destiny is ready to oh, your, 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 your destiny is ready to manifest. Who you really are is about to be introduced to the world. Those that thought they knew what you were carrying have no idea what is about to hit them. When they realize that they've been walking around in the presence of, of royalty. When they realize that they've been walking 
around with a person of influence and power, a person of stature, because your destiny is about to uh, change your identification. Listen, whatever status you thought you had, whatever God wants to do to you, uh, what God wants to do in your life is bigger than ever before, because as you are giving birth, there is something amazing that is happening in your life. Forget the discomfort and the pain. It is time for you to give birth. The child is ready to come out. The destiny is ready to buy. You have been feeling the pain. You have been feeling the cramps. You have been feeling that something is changing. There is a shift in everything around you. There is a shift. Oh, there is this discomfort you just can't explain. This pain, this, the, the, oh, there are situations that come and go. They come and go. Let me tell you what's happening to you. Mm, it is time for your destiny to be best. It is time we have been pregnant. I don't know for how many months. I remember the Spirit of God just whispered something into, oh my God, my God. We spoke. My God, my God, at the beginning of this year, what a revelation. We spoke in the beginning of this year that 2021 is a year where the children of God are taking their rightful positions. But listen to what the Holy Spirit just said now. Hey, it says, yes, we are talking about that. It's, oh my, it is time for us to give birth because the child is ready. But now I'm counting the months, January February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. It's been nine months that you've been waiting to take your rightful position. And a woman is pregnant for nine months. It's not a coincidence that God is bringing this word to you today. You have been carrying that hope, that expectation, that promise, that prophecy. You have been holding on to it from the beginning of the year. You've been praying. Some of you have have been fasting. I see sleepless nights. I see tears. But God is saying the time has come for you to give birth. It is time for you to give birth. Your destiny is pushing through. No more holding back. No more looking to the future because guess what? What you've been hoping and praying for is about to be given birth. Nine months has lapsed. Nine months has lapsed. Oh, it's not just September for nothing. It's not just a change of season for nothing. It's a new beginning of what God has birthed into your spirit. It is time to give birth. And now is that time. I don't know where you are. I don't know what it is that you have been expectant of. You yourself know the deep secrets between you and your God of what you have been trusting him for. For such a long time you've been praying. For such a long time you've been hoping. You've been dreaming. You've been planning. You've been calculating. Now listen, listen, listen. January, February, March, April, nine months has elapsed. It is time right now that you give birth to the promise of God. Your, uh, your identity is being redefined. Your position is being reclassified. Uh, everything about you. Those who thought they had you figured out are gonna look at you and be surprised when did this person when was this child born when was this dream because all of a sudden they will begin to see the glory of God in your life like never before because yes you were ugly you were pregnant and you know how pregnant women look they look bulgy in fact they are moody they are difficult to be uh, because people were not understanding that in the spiritual realm you were pregnant in the spiritual realm, there was something you were carrying. Your body was going through production. There was something that it was manufacturing. And now it is time for the world to be introduced to who you really are. It is time for the
the world to be introduced to where you thought you knew the plans that God has for you but it's a new level it's a new revelation he is picking you up in ways that have never been okay. Isaiah 43 God is doing a new thing everything that you thought you knew about yourself you're going to realize you didn't even know you because God is going to change hey, the dimensions are changing the levels are changing the standards are changing we no longer talk in future sense to say we are no longer saying that God will God will God will not God shall God shall God shall but God is right now it is happening and I speak it into your life in the mighty name of Jesus where the child is ready to be born where the destiny is ready to be birthed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I say may you gain strength to give that final push may you gain strength to give that final plunge in the name of Jesus yes when it is at that final time where it's time for you to push mm, the pain is harder than ever before it's a pain that you can't if you ask the pregnant lady where are you feeling the pain she can't even uh, she can't even direct you to say this is where uh, or there because the pain is everywhere I know the pressure is everywhere I know the pain and the sad the stress is coming from all the directions you don't even know where to start or where to hold the way because yes it is that time for you to give the final push because the child is ready to be born may the child be born in the name of Jesus whatever has been holding the child back reboshe carry under that destiny that expectation that hope in the mighty name of Jesus. I am standing with you right now. I am believing with you right now. The child is ready to be born. And where God has opened the door, who dare close the door? If God says yes, who can say no? If God stands for you, who can stand against you? Listen, listen, listen. There is something that God is doing in your life there is something that may you begin to take a new form may your career begin to take a new home your identity may you change the letter may your title change in the name of jesus your location may you be elevated in the mighty name of jesus it is the ninth month we are giving birth we are giving birth when a woman is about to give birth she purchases a araka to show she's expectant she prepares the uh, the hospital bag she buys everything to get ready begin to get ready the title is yours the position is yours your destiny is calling riba sheke riende rebo sheke rika riende rebo sheke riende rebo korea Whatever it is, begin to prepare. Begin to buy the curtains. Measure the curtains for your new house. Begin to look at rings for your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are giving birth right now in the spiritual realm. Hey, may the heavens help us to have extra strength. May the rakari and the to be able to push out this destiny. To be able to push out whatever it is that we are. It is not a coincidence that God is sharing this word with us nine months into the year. It's because the Spirit of God is also aware of time. Although He created it, He still communicates with it. And God is saying, it's not just the end of September for nothing. It's the end of your ninth try. Ninth month. It's your last trimester, and today is the day you give birth in the mighty name of Jesus. May your destiny help us begin to help you. May they begin to uplift you. May you be catapulted like never before. In
coming to your rightful position. May your title change in the name of Jesus. May everything about you begin to take the form of who you really are as you begin to give birth. Wherever you are, begin to pray, 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 pray. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Reboshe kariende reba kariende reboshe ke. This is it. This is it. This is it. We are pushing. We are pushing. We are pushing. It is time for us. Oh, re kariende reboshe kariende reba ka. Re kariende reboshe ke. It is time for us to meet that which we were pregnant with for nine months. That which we were expectant of. That position. That promotion. In the name of Jesus. Reboshe kariende reboshe. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Claim it in the name of Jesus. Give birth in the name of Jesus. Give birth in the name of Jesus. Reboshe kariende reba kariende reboshika. Rikariende reba she kariende rebo koriara ka. Rishe rebo koriende reba kariende reboshika. In the name of Jesus, Raba rebo koriende reba she ke. Begin to give birth. Begin to give birth, begin to give birth. Yes, the child is ready in the name of Jesus. Reboshe keriende reba kariende reboshika. Re keriende reba shakariende re kariende. I don't know what it is that you've been expecting from God. I don't know what it is that you have been trusting Him for. I don't know what it is that you've been praying for. What you've been waiting for. It is time to give birth. It's the end of the ninth month in the name of Jesus. May you begin to give birth. May you begin to give birth in every dimension of your life. In every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, it is difficult to push. Especially when the labor pains are there on you. But God is saying, you don't have to do it alone. I will help you to push. I will help you to take your rightful place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reboshe keriende rebo. You have been waiting, it's enough. You have been crying, it's enough. It is time in the name of Jesus. Give birth in the name of Jesus. Give birth in the name of Jesus. Give birth in the name of Jesus. Nine months has gone by. You have been crying every night. Your pillows, no, no rest. All they see is your tears. Because behind closed doors, you have been trusting God for an answer. You've been trusting God for a solution. He says, I have heard you. It's time to give birth. It's time to give birth. Push, push, push wherever you are. Push in the spiritual realm. Push in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebo sheke riende reba kariende rebo shika. Re kariende reba kariende rebo sheke. Re kariende re re. May your title change in the name of Jesus. Re bare re kere re re rebo she. Re ande reba kariende rebo sheke. In the name of Jesus. May your situation never be the same. Re kere ayende rebo sheke. The word of God. God says, when a woman is in labor, the pains are intense, but ah, once she has given birth, she is never the same. The joy she experiences is so great that she forgets the pain. Now I speak great joy once you have given birth in the name of Jesus. No more waiting. No more waiting. No more waiting. Give birth in the name of Jesus. 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 Reba sheke riende re ke. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Raka rebo sheke riende re. Riende re ba sheke riende re ba. Re rebo sheke riende re ba kara. It is done. It is done. It is done. Reba sheke ra re ke riende. Let your destiny. Destiny begin to push through. Let your destiny begin to push through. Whatever God has designed you to be. Re re boshe ke. Raka. Re ke. 
Ripo, sheke, riendere bo, sheka, riendere baka, riendere bo. Come on, begin to pray, 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 pray. It is time to push, no time to play. Time to push, time to push, time to push. If you stop to push, the baby dies. If you stop, ah, reke, riendere bo, sheka, riendere bo, sheke, riendere bo, koriendere ba, sheke, rike, riendere bo, she. Come on, come on, pray, pray, pray. Ria, ke, riendere bo, sheka, rika, riendere ba, sheke, riendere bo, sheke, ria, raka, riendere some of you have begun to give birth. Some of you have begun to give birth. Right now, you can feel it. You can feel it. You can feel the breakthrough. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. The head is beginning to show in the mighty name of Jesus. The baby is coming out in the name of Jesus. Push, push, push. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to push, begin to push for your business, begin to push for your career, for your family, for your relationship, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus, it is time to give birth. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. May you give birth in the name of Jesus. It's nine months gone. September is coming to an end. It means that your your pregnancy has come to an end. Your pregnancy has come to an end. Yes, you have enjoyed carrying the ah, Now it's time to push. Push in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, come on, come on, come on, come on. Push in the name of Jesus. God wants to give you something. God wants to change your identity. God wants to change your position. Now is the time. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. Give birth. Some of you, I see you. I see you. I see you. You have begun to give birth. You have begun to give birth. You will begin to give testimonies like never before. You are shifted, you are shifted, you are shifted, you are uplifted. If you believe it, it is yours. If you believe it, it is yours. You have cried, it's enough. You have carried this weight, it's enough. People have mocked you, it's enough. Now it is time that they see what you were waiting for, what you were trusting God for. Everybody looks stupid when they are carrying around this bed. And there is no sight of what is yet to come. But God says, behold, I am doing a new thing. The old has passed away. In the name of Jesus, come on, pray, pray, pray. It is done, it is done, it is done. Continue to believe, children of God. You have given birth in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Father, we thank you, Spirit of the living God. We honor you. Some of you. You will begin to see the spiritual begin to manifest in the physical. God has done it. God has done it. God has done it. God has done it. Some of you, you have conceived. You have conceived. I see you. You have been waiting for a, you have been trying for a long time. I see it in the name of Jesus. You have been trusting God. You have been trusting God. You have been praying, but you have not been seeing anything. God says, I see. I hear you. 
rebe sheke riande rebo shika regari ende rebo you have given birth you have given birth in the spirit rebe sheke riande rebo sheke the joy that you are about to experience is so much the joy you are about to experience is too much rebe sheke riende rebo she regari ende you will forget all your past tears rebe shika riende rebo kora rebe sheke raba sheke riende reba kariende rebo shika you were a nobody you were nothing you had nothing you had no one riba sheke riende reba god has redefined you god has shifted you like never before you will hold your baby you will hold your child your destiny is here your title is here your rightful position is here rebe sheke riende rebo sheke your healing it is here raba sheke riende rebo sheke raka riende reba sheke you will begin to understand and why you were going through everything you were going through you will begin to understand why people were treating you that ah, you will begin to understand everything is all rebeshe keriande rebe riboshe keriande rebe keriande reboshika rikariende rebeshe keriande reboko it is ara ra 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 reboshe keriende reba kasheke rikeriende everything that you see in the physical realm is built from the spiritual realm there is nothing that you see eraka there is tangible that is not born of the spiritual world yes rakari endere bosheke you have been expecting in the spirit but god says your birth will be seen in the physical rebesheke riandere boshika rekeri ende no more mocking no more laughing it is the end of the torment in the mighty name of jesus reba sheke riende rebo koriende rebo shika rikeriende rebo sheke akariende rebo shika I see it I see it I see it rebeshe keriende reboshika rakariende rekerianda you have given birth you have given birth rakariende begin 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 to walk in faith areke begin to operate in your new title begin to operate in your new status quo in the mighty name of Jesus it is done it is done it is done some of you will begin to hear news as you wake up in the morning you will be woken up by news because you have given birth you will know that i serve a living god you will know the god that i serve that he still speaks and he's so powerful in the mighty name of jesus god has done it god has done it god has done it welcome welcome your newborn baby Welcome your newborn baby. As after you have given birth, the nurses will bring the child to you, and they'll say, "Meet your chara, carry and meet your destiny, meet your promise, meet your answer, meet your healing, meet ah, meet your provision, meet your chara, boshi carry and God has done it. God has done it. Begin to rejoice. Begin to experience the joy of the Lord. Begin to experience ah, supernatural joy, supernatural joy in. The mighty name of Jesus, Spirit of the Living God, we thank you. Reba kashe kiri ndi reba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It is done, and it is done. To God be the glory. As God begins to bless you, do not forget. Do not forget Him who blessed you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.